I'm joined now for his first interview on British television by the Chief Legal Officer of Google, David Drummond. Mr Drummond, Google issued an incredibly robust right. statement a few days ago insisting you'd never heard of prison, right. you'd never been involved in any hand wholesale handover of data. Do you understand why perhaps millions of your users might not believe you or might struggle to believe you at the moment? Well, I, I can appreciate that uh, there are, uh, thanks for having me on the program, I can appreciate that there are questions as a re result of these uh, revelations or these articles that have come out. I can tell you that we were as surprised, uh, indeed shocked, by both the, phone, the Verizon phone, phone orders uh, uh, order and this uh, notion of a prison program as everyone else. Well, you say and, surprised uh, and shocked. Idea, what about horrified? As horrified as everybody else? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we're quite surprised. And there, uh, there are these allegations that were in, in, in the reports that we somehow uh, are participating in a program that has, that, that, that's doing broad-scale surveil online surveillance uh, of our users are just simply false. Uh, and uh, we want to make that absolutely clear. There, are, there is no direct access. There is no indirect access. There's no backdoor. There's no Dropbox. Uh, there's no uh, equipment installed on our servers, uh, period. Uh, we're not part of that. So we wanted to make that very, very clear. You do, however, acknowledge in your statement that within the confines of the law, you have handed over data. How exactly does that work? I mean, do you hand it over sure. to the NSA, the National Security Agents, come into your office? Yeah, sure. We, we, we get these requests. We treat them very seriously. We have lawyers review them. We push, we, we're willing to push back if they're overly broad. Uh, and what happens is when we determine that we, we need to comply, uh, we deliver the information. That is to say, we typically deliver it electronically, occasionally in person, but we deliver it to them. There are no, there's no access to our systems where the government is pulling data from us. And here's the important thing. We serve million, hundreds and hundreds of millions of users. Only a tiny fraction uh, of our users have ever been, had been subject uh, to one of these requests that might uh, touch on their, their, their information at, at Google. So, so the information it's, it's that the National Security that Agency have given out? a broad-based program. The information that the National Security Agency has given out, is it wrong? Are they lying? Well, I'm not sure that they've really addressed this point. And, and, and one of the things, what the purpose of our letter today is we would like to tell you even more about uh, these requests that we get. Uh, we're unable to do so because uh, this process is classified. We are able to say that we receive them. Uh, and I've said that uh, only a tiny fraction of our, our users are, are affected by this. But we, we would like to give more information, and we are asking the government uh, to allow us to do that. We I'll, think transparency is the best thing here for everyone. I'll come on to the, to the letter I know you sent to the Attorney General in a moment, but you talk about sure. transparency. Now, the administration says that mm -hmm. Americans aren't targeted. This is all about non-Americans. So many British users of, of Google have, may have feel or worry that they've mm -hmm. been affected. What can you say to them? How can you reassure them? Well, I think you'll have to talk to the to, to the government about this, about their views about it. But I can what I can say is that we uh, get specific orders. They, they are under the under the law in the U.S. targeted orders. As I said, only a fraction of our users are covered by them, uh, and we take them very seriously. Uh, and there is no kind of general uh, uh, program that we participate in. So. The big debate now is whether Edward Snowden, the man who leaked this information, who raised this information, is whether he's a hero or a traitor. Where do you stand on that? Well, look, I, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing that there, this is indeed shedding more, more light on this. Um, so a I hero? Said, uh, we were surprised. We were surprised by the breath. I, I don't know if I can make a call about whether, uh, you know, there's still a lot of information, I think, to come. Uh, and, you know, we don't, we don't know what the whole genesis of, of, uh, of, of the slides that were shown in the newspaper is and so forth. But what, what I'm saying is that transparency about these things is a good thing. If that's come out of this uh, and we get more transparency and more of a debate about w what the scope of these kinds of requests should be, uh, more of an open dialogue or discussion and debate about how far the government should, should go, and to do that without all the secrecy, you know, that would be a good outcome. But President Obama's defense of this all the way along has been that PRISM, this surveillance uh, project, is a necessary evil in order to maintain security. Do you agree with him on that? 
Well, look, I, I think national security is important, and we understand that the government has to do some of these things. But we think that we, you, can, you can protect national security and still uh, protect privacy. Uh, and have the right balance. I think you know you right feel, now it feels to us that there's too that there, there's not enough transparency so that we can have the debate. And on that question, I mean, do you feel in a way that Google have been used by the National Security Agency because this is a crisis for you now, isn't it? It's a crisis of trust with your users. Well, I, I don't know that I would put it that way, but it's it's very important. There are a lot of mis, mis, misimpressions that are out there, and we feel very strongly that we've got to set the record straight, and that's what we're, we're, we're about doing. So very briefly, you've uh, written to you the know, Attorney I, General I, today, sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt you, but what is it you're asking yes. for, very briefly, if you would? Sure, what we're asking for is the ability to say how many uh, of these uh, orders uh, we receive, these requests for information, and what they cover, uh, so we can provide more detail. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, if we're able to do that, uh, then you'll really be able to understand that this is not, as has been, as, as been alleged, uh, some kind of a general pro, uh, surveillance program, but something that's very, uh, very limited. But the, you uh, do we hand over information you're not able to tell us about. We, we can't tell you the details of that. That's correct. We'd like to give you more information. As I said, we have nothing to hide about this. David Drummond from Google, thank you very much for joining us.